there's a particular topic in the manifestation abundance mindset in the spiritual world that I never resonated with. I never fully got it. I never found that there was anyone who shared it in a way where I could buy into it, where it didn't sound like hocus pocus. And this is even after years of being a long time student practitioner and a master manifester myself. And now it's an essential part and an essential ingredient in my abundance trifecta and becoming an energetic match to the money you want. And that is your energy. It's your magnetism. And I'm going to break it down for you today in part two of this series in a way that I would have been able to have heard it all these years back. And if I had heard it from someone who's going to explain it, how I'm about to explain it, I can't even imagine how much faster I would have manifested things and at such a bigger level because I wasn't able to buy into it. That's why it's so important that even though there's so many people talking about similar subject matters, maybe even exact same concepts or things, why it's important and the world needs you to do it specifically. Because all it takes is one person explaining it in their unique way, in their unique communication style, in their unique tone of voice, it's their unique perspective for you to actually get it. And that's why there's room for all of us to be talking about similar topics because we all have unique ways of expressing them. I pray that this lands with you because it will change your life. What up, my people, my posse, my fellow crazies? It's your host, Tiffany Carter, and this is the show that is going to help you grow your business, your bank account, that big, beautiful brain of yours, your abundance, your relationships, and everything in between. Literally, right now, this minute, this is it. This is your final call on getting in on my free live special training that starts in just hours, depending on when you're listening to this. It's at 11 a.m. Pacific, Los Angeles time, 2 p.m. Eastern, New York time today, August 28th. It's your last chance to sign up. You do not want to miss this. If you want to be able to attract clients who are excited to pay you online instead of being filled with excuses, what I'm going to teach you with this particular formula that I have developed will without a doubt, if you implement it, dramatically change the course of your business. So this isn't some cheesy webinar, some sales fest. This is a game-changing opportunity that you won't get again for free. So make sure you sign up right now. If you can't come to the live, the only way to access the replay is by registering and you get free access to it for 10 days before I start charging for it. So all you need to do is go to projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash special training, swipe up. The direct link is in the show notes. And if you are watching on YouTube, which you should, because it's definitely a vibe behind the scenes here to see what goes on vis visually. It's at Project Me TV on YouTube. And in the description, you will see the direct link to sign up. So if you need to pause this episode, go there, grab this and come back to it, that is approved by me. What's not approved by me is you saying that you want something. You're saying you want to bring in that next level of cash. You're saying you want to have the options and the freedom in your life. You're saying you don't want to keep trading all your time for money and being dependent on just one or two revenue streams because you know that that puts you in a position of being controlled. You're trapped. And you might even be trapped with your own business. I was trapped with my own business. I created the feeling of being trapped in the corporate world with my first business because I didn't know any better. And if you're feeling that way and you want to have expansive level cash and abundance where you actually get to enjoy your life and you get to make money, whether you're actively working or not, and then you're not taking advantage of attending something like this or investing in it. That's interesting, right? That's a real great starting point to this whole energy thing I want to talk about. And what does this mean? You see a lot of people going, your energetics, and then they spell it with an X to make it sound very sexy. 
you know, and you've got to be energetically aligned and you've got to, you know, focus and embodiment and then your feminine energy and your masculine energy. And it's like, what does that even mean? And it feels like bullshit. And maybe it doesn't feel like bullshit to you. And that's great if that's your starting point. For me, it felt like bullshit. I didn't get it. Like, I thought what that meant is that I have to be like high vibe, positive, you know, abundantly minded thinking all the time. And I was kind of like, oh, my God, if I have to do that, I'm screwed because I am not thinking like that all the time. Yeah, I have sometimes I think like that. And I didn't really understand what that meant. And I'm, I'm going to do my best to explain it to you in a blunt TIFF style fashion so it lands today. And a great example of you seeing what I mean by energy is actually happening with you listening to this episode. It's your energy steps into the airways, steps onto the screen, steps into a conversation, steps into a party steps into a room before you do and it's either going to magnetize people or repel people and that's okay we want to repel the right people we want to magnetize you know the things that we want coming to us and if we're not aware and start becoming aware of our energy and what energy we're giving what energy we're putting off and how to work with that energy and truly how to manipulate our own energy. And the word manipulation kind of has a bad rap because no one wants to be manipulated, right? Like, but manipulation also can mean like massaging, right? Like it's not always a bad word. And we want to be able to have the power and learn how to manipulate our own energy. So when we're feeling cunty with a K, when we're feeling crunchy, when we're feeling, ugh, listen, you're not going to necessarily be able to flip that over. And now you're like, you know, totally feeling expansive and abundant. And I'm going to be on the cover of Forbes, you know, type feeling. But there are things you can do to actively manage your energy so that that energy is matching the money that you're wanting to call in. So one of the key ways of managing your energy is taking a look at what you're focusing on and your actions. As you've probably heard, what you focus on grows. Are you feeding your fears or are you feeding the future that you want? Are you feeding the feelings you're currently in that if it's a, a feeling state you don't like? Or are you going to focus and feed how you want to feel, how you want to get there? But you just thinking about it, you know, if you're in a terrible mood, you're feeling overwhelmed, you're riddled with self-doubt, and you're sitting there going, I want to feel calm, and I want to feel confident, and I want to feel clear, and I I want to give zero fucks, and I okay, that's, that's a nice start to identify how you want to feel. I'm not saying that's not important, but most of you just stop there. I did too. We have to actually do things to shift our energy into the state of how we want to feel. So we have to act our way there, not think our way there. You know how people will say like proper thoughts lead to proper actions. I'm not saying that that's not the case at times, but actually it's proper actions lead to proper thoughts, right? Because thoughts alone aren't going to compel you into action. That's why I always say motivation is not a strategy. Waiting to feel motivated to do something, waiting to not feel scared, waiting to feel confident, waiting to know exactly what to do, waiting for clarity, waiting for a sign. This is not a profitable business plan. This is not going to get you that cash coming into your life, I promise you. But what will is, okay, I currently want to bring in, because this trifecta is all about being an energetic match to the money you want. So we're focused on money here, okay? I have other episodes focusing on manifesting other things. So you're wanting money to come in and you're, and you want to, you want the feeling behind the money. It's more than the money. 
how would it feel to know that you have the option to book a ticket even to go next week somewhere? You don't have to like buy in advance and look for all these deals. You can just take off next week because you make your own schedule. You make your own time. Your business is designed in such a way that you can do these things and that you have the money to do these things and that you can afford to pay the sitter or pay for the extra seats for the kids or the family. And you can go and stay in the five-star hotel. You can have chef cooked meals every night. You can have someone come clean your house. How does that feel in your body and your nervous system to know you have those options? And I'm doing this with you right now. You know how it feels to me? It's like a my body goes, fuck yes. It makes me feel safe. It makes me feel secure. And it also makes me the fuck yes comes. It makes me feel empowered. It makes me feel free. I feel the opposite of trapped, right? So I want to feel free to go where I want, how I want, with whom I want. And no one can fucking stop me because I don't have to ask anyone permission for time off or to pay for anything. And I love this feeling. Okay, that's great. But me loving that feeling isn't enough to have my my mood, so to speak, match it, right? You can you can you could be in a miserable, rotting in bed mood and talk about how you want to feel different. That's not gonna that's not gonna change that. So let's use that rotting in bed analogy. So you're rotting in bed, you're feeling low vibe, exhausted, miserable, and it's not like you're sick. You just feel like crap. You want to hide from the world. Um, Truly, this was how I felt earlier this week. I really was not cute. And I was like, I don't want to feel this way. And then I asked myself, how do I want to feel? I want to want to do things. I want, I want to feel good. I want to feel light. I want to feel happy. I want to feel delighted by life. I want to laugh. I want to um, have a lightness feeling in my body. Um, I want to be non-reactive to things outside of my control. I want to feel spiritually connected and, and the inner peace that comes with that. Beautiful, Tiff, right? Look how fast that was done. And if you're really analytical, you can rewind and then fast forward and see how long it took just for me to ask and answer that question to myself. So that's what you're going to do with yourself is you're going to answer, right? And this is on any given day, any given moment. Sometimes I have to do this multiple times a day. So that's how you want to feel wonderful. That didn't change anything in me. In fact, sometimes it can make you feel worse when you know how you want to feel, but that's not your current state. And it can feel so far away. The gap is so big. Because you're like, oh, how am I even going to get there when I, the thought of even brushing my teeth sounds like a lot of work, right? So then I want you to ask yourself, what would the abundant version of me do who is feeling all these things that I want to feel, right? Who's truly has that embodied feeling. And we've all had all these feelings, right? Maybe it's been a while for you. Maybe it was yesterday. Maybe it was last week. But like you've felt them before. You have an access point. This is why the law of polarity is required. This is why we have to feel like shit, why we have to feel amazing and everything in between. Because you wouldn't know what it's like to feel amazing if you haven't felt like shit. You know, you wouldn't know what it feels like and be able to discern if you're feeling okay if you haven't felt like just, you know, blah. So this is why we experience all this in life in any area of life, including with money. We have to see all the things in order to relish and appreciate the great, which is why in my two-day in-person mastermind event, October 1st and 2nd, and you guys, because my live training is today, we have put my mastermind experience, the final spots out into the full general public globally. This will sell out. I am not doing this if I choose to do it until late 2025. Spending these two full days with me and my dream team of special experts and I'm flying in from all over, this is how you accelerate your growth in life, in business, 
financially, mentally, spiritually, this is where this happens. This is where strategy meets us unblocking your resistances because you can't do one without the other. And this is not an information fest. Information alone, just like you identifying your feelings alone, ain't going to get you where you want to go. We have to take action. We have to implement. We have to do. We have to show up regardless of how we feel. But we need support in doing that a lot of times. And that's what's going to happen at our two-day event. You're not going to leave there going, what the hell do I do next? How do I get there? You're going to leave with absolute clarity, knowing exactly what to focus on and what to stop giving energy to that is going to get you to your next bing, bam, boom level of cash flow in your business and your life by spending two full days with me and my team. So you can go to projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash mastermind projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash mastermind. Also swipe up. That link is in the show notes in the description on YouTube. If you've been hemming and hawing about this thing, that's a sign that you're likely supposed to come because if it, if it doesn't even stick on you at all, you know, it didn't even pick up a meter on you, then it's not for you right now. And that's okay. You might have other blockages you need to work through. Who knows? But if it's something you're wrestling with and you're coming up with stories about time, about money, about energy, about logistics, you go listen to the episode with Nancy Medoff, who attended last year. This is someone who went through all the things. I mean, we went back and forth for weeks and I don't convince anyone to show up, but she was a private client. And I said, you know, you need to be there. I don't know what to tell you. And it was funny because it got to a point where I went, listen, we're not talking about this any further. Like there's nothing else to say. I know you need to be there, but I'm also not going to like coerce you into being there. Like, you know what to do. And all this resistance is the more resistance you have, the more proof it is to me that you need to be there. And that would be something that I want you to look at. The more resistance you have to something, and I don't mean resistance where it's like red flags about a person, place, thing, or opportunity. I mean, resistance, like coming up with excuses. Am I going to fit in? Am I far enough along in business? Am I going to be the dumbest one there? If you have all this type of resistance, number one, you can always DM me on Instagram and you can ask questions if it's a good fit. The email for, for my team is right on the mastermind page, where if you have any additional questions, if it's a great fit for you, you can certainly inquire, but that page has every single detail on it and the frequently asked questions, including who this is a good fit for and who it isn't. I mean, I wrote it. So everything is in there, but don't screw yourself out of the money that is sitting there waiting for you because you're wrestling with yourself and you're waiting for the wrestling to stop and you're thinking there's going to be no mental noise. And that means that's the move I have to make. I, I'm telling you that doesn't work like that. That's just the stuff that feels toe dippy and safe to you. You probably had no resistance to the free live training because it's free, right? There's probably a little, little resistance to that. Um, me running ads, for example, to this special live training with a budget of $50 a day. And I'm just saying it's all relative, but for me, that doesn't even register. There's no resistance. Of course we're doing that. And then when we upped it to a hundred, mm, a little resistance, not much. Of course we're doing that. Then it got to, okay, we have a good conversion rate. I won't geek out on the ad thing for you, but then we, you know, got to a good conversion rate and it's like, okay, what are we going to do? I would say it's between three and 500 a day. Ooh, my resistance came up. That's a lot for me to gamble with, right? And it's not like ads to someone buying something. It's ads to something that's free. And I was like, oh, that's a lot to gamble with. And I'm like rocking here over on Project Me TV on YouTube because that's what I do when I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to get back in my body. It's one of my actions that I take to connect my energy with my mind, right? Like we, we forget to move our bodies, and then it, we become stagnant and stuck and we're just stuck in the mind. And then you're the overthinker, overanalyzer. 
and nothing good comes out of that. So I, my body starts rocking. I start moving the fear energy around. This is somatic work, right? Like, so I'm rocking and I'm like, okay, the question is what would my abundant self do? What would that version of me who knows that everything is working out for me? I bet on myself. What would I do? And the fact that I was chewing on it, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, that was all the sign I needed. And I go, fuck it. We're doing it. Let's go. And it is a gamble. There's no guarantees. The only guarantee is you not taking any action that's in an energetic match with the feelings that you want, with the outcome you want. That's a guarantee. It's not going to happen. That's a guarantee to staying stuck. If I want to say, I want to help as many people, I want to help millions of people in order to be able to monetize their gifts, passions, talents, and experience so that they can feel free. So they can have the options to do what they want while they're helping other people. And we just keep paying it forward and paying it forward and empowering more and more people. If I really want that, well, I can't just think it into existence. I can't just passively manifest into existence. That's part of it. But the other part is the, where's the energy? Where's the fuel, right? Like I need to put forth some motion behind my thoughts for what I'm wanting. And so I did it. And um, yeah, it's not cute, but I did it. Cause the, what's the other option going with the safe, the super safe. Well, what that's not going to get me where I want and playing it really safe. You guys that's out of scarcity is playing it safe. That's toe dipping. And I'm not, don't take me literally where it's like you have a red flag about someone you've gone on a date with, you know, and you're protecting yourself from them. I'm not talking about like literal danger in that way, but playing things so safe, that's out of self-protection. That's out of scarcity. That is not expansive. That is not abundant. And ever since, and I think since I'm recording this, um, when I am recording this right now, I we've the budget's been increased for t- 24 hours at the point of where I'm recording this right now. So what do you think's happened? The amount of signups for this live training, like have gone right, have skyrocketed. And you could say, well, of course they did. You put more ad spend. Well, anyone who understands ads and how advertising works. That does not mean you get more signups. If it was that simple, people would go take business loans out of the bank and spend millions of dollars on advertising. There's no guarantees. It's had to do with the fact of I made the decision. Once someone makes the decision to do something they've been wrestling with, like coming to my mastermind, I can, several people who are coming this year have already DM'd me I've literally already paid for the mastermind. I got two new high ticket clients. I already got a speaking opportunity to speak to 500 people and they're going to pay me $10,000, right? It's like, because you have put your energy in motion by taking contrary action to how you're currently feeling. So if you're currently feeling broke, you're currently feeling stuck, you're currently feeling trapped, what can you do as a next step to propel you forward? You can get out of bed. You can put on a cute outfit. You could go on an abundance walk. You can take one action at a time. You can throw yourself a solo dance party. You can shake it off. You could go do yoga. What is going to put you in the energy of the abundance you're wanting to call in? And you need to help yourself get there. You can't will yourself there. So a lot of people like cold plunging, for example. If that's a vibe, right, that helps change the state. Maybe that's a little extreme for you. You can take a cool shower. What puts you in that state? Use music. I've never not seen someone from any generation and any background where certain music just like makes them smile. 
or makes them go like, what song came on when I was in the parking lot of TJ Maxx? I know I shared it in my Instagram stories at Project Me with Tiffany. It was a throwback, any kind of like throwback dance song from like the 90s and like, like the, the early 2000s. And I was like, oh my God, I forgot about this song. And of course I know all the words and I was like jamming out and I'm smiling. But we forget when we're in that state. But what did that do? That quickly, that shifted my energy out of that stagnant state I was in. So before I come on to like the live training that's happening today, do you think that I'm just rolling out of bed? I mean, there's times I've had to do podcasts, live trainings. People are paying me to speak, to do sales trainings. I'm showing up for my clients where I didn't sleep. I'm PM messy. I'm cunty with a K. I have drama going on. So what's part of my job, right? What is part of my job as an active manifester, an active participant in my life, actively drawing in what I want to me? I have, I have responsibility to do the best I can on any given day to make myself an energetic match for what it is I want. So I prep for my energetic state. I ask myself the question, what is it that I need to do in terms of actions, not thinking to get myself in the best possible energy I can be in on any given day. And let me tell you some days, the best I can do is be a little less cunty. That's it. And that's okay. As long as you're working that muscle and you are practicing doing that and you get in the habit of doing that every day, that's okay. That's better than being in a state of contasaurus as, as we call it. I have nicknames for everything. There really should be a project me with Tiffany Carter dictionary. That would be really funny. There really should zero fucks given. So when I wake up, whatever state I'm in right? Then I go, okay, what do we have to do? Maybe I'm feeling low energy. I have stagnant energy. Maybe I'm scared. Maybe I'm doubting myself. Maybe I'm in my head. Can I really deliver my best to these people? Are How many people are going to show up? Are they going to care? You know, I get all crazy. Maybe I'm hard on myself because I my face looks puffy or I feel like I'm fat or whatever. Okay. I hear you brain. That's nice. I want to feel expansive. I want to feel energized. I want to feel that like a grounded sense of pure energy, not an uncontrolled energy. I want to be able to delight in this experience and pour out from my heart and be a, a person of service into this world. And the people can feel my genuineness and that I'm praying that I deliver the message with clarity and I feel it's clear and I feel in conviction. This is how I want to feel. So what do we need to do? Okay. You need to take a shower. You need to go do a dance party. You need to go do a workout. You need to drink a bunch of water. You need to call one of your friends and laugh at a bunch of stupid shit. You need to reach out to your therapist. You need to reach out to your life coach. Maybe you need a pep talk from your business mentor. Maybe you need to have snuggles with your dog, whatever. That's so funny. I just said that. And one of my dear friends, Regina, who you guys have seen her as a co-host on the podcast, she's literally calling right as I said that. That's it. That's just what I'm talking about. That's the great, this is the great stuff of all this. Sometimes before I go do something to elevate my energy, I go to my emotional support store of TJ Maxx, okay? Like you might need to uh, walk around Target with an iced coffee at seven in the morning. I don't care. Whatever it takes, making sure that your nervous system is regulated, that you feel safe, that you feel supported, that you feel secure, that is what matters first because energy can't be faked. Energy doesn't lie. And out of that energetic state, there's an energetic field that we do have. Okay. And if you, if you come to the mastermind, which I really hope you do, 
you'll actually be able to feel it. And both in the work, somatic work Regina does and the subconscious work that Brenda Johnston does, it, it lies on, it's almost like the little hairs on your body, right? You can feel it, but you have to get still. You have to allow yourself to be in your body and not just in your mind. And you can feel it. You know, when you, even if you start from after listening to this episode and you go to the grocery store or you go to a yoga class or you go for a walk in your neighborhood or even people in your family, not just reading someone's gestures and hypervigilance, you know, like or listening to someone do a heavy sigh, but you can feel someone's energy shift. Okay. I mean, listen, my mom's a narcissist. I grew up with a major narcissist. That's a very loud one. Okay. But like, you can feel that you can. Then when someone go, you ask, is everything okay? Like I'm sensing something's off and they're like, I'm fine. And you know, it's bullshit. And the person might say it's fine for whatever reasons. Maybe they're not aware. Maybe they are gaslighting you who knows, but like you feel it you are the same way. And that's why how this affects your business and money is when you show up at work, when you show up online, when you create content, when you write an email, when you're talking to a client, when you're doing a training, when you're doing a podcast, whatever your thing is that you do, and you're trying to put on a front for that energy instead of being absolutely who you are in that moment, People know and they respond and they're either magnetized to you or repelled by it. And they might not ever tell you, they might not even be aware why they're not, why they're leaning out from you. Your manifestations right now, currently every second of the day are leaning into you or leaning out based on this trifecta I'm talking about, right? And your energy is is more important than I ever realized. That was my missing component of why I always went. It's so interesting. I'm such a great student of manifestation. I am a master manifester. I've manifested a lot of things, but it always felt like a lot of work to me. You know, it felt like a lot of work and it required such extreme patience. And then I would see other people and it seemed like they manifested so effortlessly and it just happened so continuously. I'm telling you, the difference is this energy stuff is the magnetic energy. Why was my three days to make bank, you know, my famous three day live training I do at the beginning of the year. And that's why I keep telling you guys about signing up for my special live training. That's today is because this is literally the only other time of year that I do something like this. Like it really is that big of a deal. So it, you might have been you might have been at that three days to make bank. That was at the beginning of the year. My free training went viral. It was insanity in a good way. I'm talking floodgates of abundance. I've done three days to make bank. I think that was my fourth year doing it. Okay. Never have I seen anything like this. None of no one on my team, none, none of my friends people who aren't my friends that watch all my shit that try to reverse engineer and copy my shit, their asses were probably even amazed. And I was asked by many people, what do you think that you did that was different? Strategically, we did nothing fucking different. Nothing. It was everything that I teach in detail in terms of the strategy. What was different was I have really kept practicing and honing in on my energetic muscle and foc focused in on that. So I invested in my energy. So I had a couple speaking gigs in Palm Springs. I could have had my room and board paid for by staying at, you know, the okay hotel that they would have paid for. But instead, I wanted, because our surroundings are so important to us, and I, instead, I invested in putting myself in a surrounding where I felt the most abundant and rich and creatively inspired, and I stayed at an elite level hotel that celebrities stay at. That's not even like a highly advertised hotel, okay? 
And not only did my one or two of my videos that I did wearing a robe from that hotel go mega viral. I'm talking millions. Okay. I think there were two millions unexpected because of my energy. It wasn't even like the topic. It was for sure the energy. And then my training went viral again because of my energy. I felt relaxed. I, I, put it in motion. I invested in how I wanted to feel. And I'm speaking, this is vulnerable for me to do this because as I'm recording this for you right now, I am doing something random and I'm actually live on TikTok at the moment as well. So me putting this out there and if I don't do it, I'm going to feel stupid. So I'm just going to say it, fuck it. I've been wrestling with myself, putting myself in another, recreating that energy in an abundant luxury environment. Not that my homes aren't luxurious and feel abundant to me. Okay. Like you can, you can feel abundant in an apartment. And I know because I have, I felt abundant in my apartment in Boston where I had roaches. I knew my ass didn't have money, but I felt abundant living in that city, but I digress. And I've been wrestling with staying at a particular hotel, five-star elite, has one of the best spas in the entire world. And I had the idea, I don't, it, I don't even randomly came to me. Why don't you do that? When I was thinking of how can I put myself and get myself proactively instead of just leaving it to fucking chance in the best energy possible for my people showing up to the training. And this is a free training. So some of you might go, that's crazy to put in that much effort and then to even consider spending money, getting yourself in that kind of energy when it, you're doing a free training, right? That can seem counterintuitive. But energy always pays off. Energy always, abundant energy always pays you in the most wild ways. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay and it's going to cost. I mean, basically I'd say like around a thousand dollars a day. And I, and I could be doing it from either of my multi-million dollar homes and it'd be just as good and it'd be just as great. In fact, but I don't want just as good and just as great. I want to set it up so my energy has the best chance to shine and be in the best possible capacity. And if that means I need to invest in it, then it's worth it. But I've been wrestling with it and I brought it to only two trusted people because if you say shit like this to someone who doesn't get it, they'll go, well, that doesn't make sense. Why would you spend money on that? Like, that seems like a waste of money. And then the very next week, you're going on some extravagant birthday trip, island hopping and renting a private boat. And it's like, now you're going to spend more money and you're spending money on ad. You're just spending money like crazy, Tiffany. Well, I'm not spending it from my ass. I'm investing. I'm investing in my business and the life that I want and the money that I know is right here that I want, you know, the next level of abundance is here. I'm investing in it through actions. I'm investing in it through my thoughts, right? Like helping manage the brain, but also most importantly, through my actions. And yeah, that can involve spending money. That's why when people come to my mastermind or come to my, even my free live trainings, they end up making a lot of money. It's because you've done the energy. You're in the energetic space. And when you're in that space, your actions are different. You attract differently because you're so magnetic. Haven't you met these people? I know you've had to have experienced it through me where you're just really drawn and attracted by the energy. You have the same exact power within you to hone it, but you've got to do things to get yourself there. And it can seem so counterintuitive, 
and I'm going to do it. I am doing it. I'm at, in fact, I'm at, I'm at this resort right now and I'll, I'm at this resort for the training and I'm calling this in because I know I wrestled with it enough. And this has been, I would say so far, it's my third day in a row where I've woken up and at least within the first hour, should I do it? Is that crazy? Like I could put that money towards like more ads. I could put that money towards blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm just, is that like crazy of me? Like, is there something wrong with me? Shouldn't I be able to get into the energetic state in one of my abundant homes? Like, does this mean that I'm not as abundant minded as I thought? Am I being dependent on something external in order to give me that energy and that abundance? I mean, I've really gone down a whole path with it. And like I said earlier, if you're wrestling with something enough, it's just that you're in resistance. It's meant for you. Period. It's meant for you. If you're wrestling with it to where you're like, I'm insane, I'm all over the place, it's because you're scared. What am I scared of? I have the money in the bank. What am I scared of? Maybe I, there's something going on there, but guess what? I don't have to figure that out, but I'm going to do it anyway. And if I don't lead by example in doing it anyway, and I don't, follow through with what I teach you and practice what I teach, well, then I'm out of integrity, aren't I? And we're not about that life here on Project Me. And you have to take a look at yourself and the people you serve and the ideal clients you want to call in. Maybe you're having an off time and calling in the ideal clients, the higher ticket clients, you know, or the amount of clients, you know, more people buying your things, joining your programs, booking with you, because you're not an energetic match for them. If you're not investing in yourself in the same way that you're asking your audience to invest in themselves through you, well, this is a problem. That's why it's not really happening. You're out of integrity. That you, don't, you don't get to play cheap yourself and then expect others not to and encourage others not to. It's incongruency. The universe knows. God knows. It doesn't work. You're being pushed through pain of not having the money and not having the clients and things feeling like it's not working and your following is not growing and you feel like your growth is stagnant. You're being pushed through that pain. You have to be in enough discomfort to make a change. I had to be in enough discomfort through in manifesting, which it took me far too long to get here, which is why I hope this really lands in how I explained it. And for me to really, really grasp this energy and the importance of the energy and why it really is a thing and it's not hocus pocus. I totally get it. Obviously it works or it wouldn't be part of the trifecta. So your homework, I gave homework from part one. You're getting homework in part two. Your homework is determining, right? How it is you want to feel on any given day. Okay. What you want to feel. And then how can I help myself get there? How can I get myself in a better energetic state that closely matches that? You might not reach, reach the holy grail of it. That's okay. But how can I position myself? How can I stack the odds in my favor that my energy is going to, you know, get in a range of that? That's okay. That's you being an active participant in manifesting, in in aligning your energy with what you're saying you want. And it's remarkable of how the universe will then help you get there and reward you for that. So make a move, do something. I hope this live training that's today is one of the things for you. I'd be so curious. What are other things? Maybe you need to make a playlist, an energetic playlist. Maybe you need to go find an emotional support store. <laughs> Maybe you need to binge the podcast and get a dose of money juice from Coach Tiff. But don't just sit back and allow however you feel, however you feel on any given day 
and just leave it all to chance. Do you really want to leave your lifestyle that you want, the stuff you want to call in your abundance to chance? I hope not. I don't want you to. Wishing you great health, wealth, and worth as always. Love you.